Hi everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my November monthly favorites video and I have several things I'd like to share with you. Some of them are not new to me. They're just products that I have been absolutely loving over the month of November and other months as well, but I wanted to share them because I haven't talked about them in a while and some of them are new and you can find them on Amazon, many of them, and I did curate an Amazon list list for fall and I will link that below. So if you can find these products on Amazon, I will just link that list and you can find them there. But if it's something you can't find on Amazon, I'll link it separately. So that way you can find it and read more about the product or item and see if it's something you're interested in. So I'm just gonna jump in and get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with like skincare and body products. The first one is a product that I've mentioned to you before, but I absolutely love this product in the fall and winter months and it's from Paula's Choice and it is the Paula's Choice Resist Super Antioxidant Concentrated Serum and it looks like this and I love this because it's really high in antioxidants and THD ascorbate, which is tetrahexyl decal ascorbate, which is a really stable form of vitamin C. And I really love it for brightening up my skin and keeping my freckles lightened up. And um, it really does a great job. This does have dimethicone in it, which I like personally in my skincare products. Some of you may not, so I wanted to mention that, but dimethicone is incredibly hydrating and it is the second ingredient in the, the ingredient list. Um, but I like to use this during the day on my skin beneath my makeup because the dimethicone makes it like a primer. So when I put it on my skin beneath my foundation, it won't make my foundation pill up or anything like that, but it's sort of like pill, um, fills my pores and makes a very smooth surface for my foundation. And I really like the way it makes my foundation look. And like I said, it's got a very um, high amount of THD ascorbate. That's the third ingredient. And it's got loads of antioxidants. It's an amazing product. This is the third year I've used it. It's affordable. I think it retails for around $30. And this will last you well over, um, well over six months if you use it on a daily basis, maybe seven or eight months before you'll run out because it just takes like a pump. So I love this product. I wanted to mention it to you again. Next product is a shower oil and I would have never tried it had I not received it as a little Christmas gift. I received a little ornament from La Occitane that had several products from the almond range and one of them was a shower oil and after I finished it up it took me about a week and a half to finish up the shower oil I went out and I purchased the full size which lasted me almost an entire year and I did purchase it in the 16 ounce bottle of it it does come in an 8 ounce bottle which is still considerable in size but it took me I don't use this in the summer months because it's really humid and I really like more of um, an exfoliating cleanser in the summer months. But in the early spring, fall and winter, I love this product. It is a very fluid shower oil that smells amazing, like very soft almonds. It has a really nice fragrance. I pump some of it onto my loofah, just one or two pumps, and it starts out as an oil, but as you get water on it and buff it into your skin, it turns into a light foam or lotion, and it really cleanses your skin and leaves you smelling and feeling really fresh, which was something that I wasn't sure about. I thought, would it make me feel a little greasy or leave my skin feeling coated? It doesn't. I don't use this every single day because it is more expensive, luxurious product, but I use it several times a week. And I really like to use this after I foam up my body with my 
budget cleanser. And then I'll put a, one pump and just finish with this on a lot of days because it does leave my skin feeling so soft and hydrated. And I was really grateful that I was able to try that mini size because it made me realize that I like a shower oil. I haven't tried any other shower oils other than this one, but I've purchased this again and I've purchased the eight ounce bottles of it for my daughters. The eight ounce will last a very long time as well. I did go through an entire 16 ounce bottle of this last fall and winter. And then I just refilled this and let me show After you. After you have the bottle already, you just purchase the refill. So one of these refills will fill this entire 16 ounce bottle entirely. And this will get me through the fall, winter and early spring. It takes so little and it's really lovely. So I wanted to tell you about this. It would make a great gift for someone even the small like ornament size or the eight ounce size, obviously this one and a refill for yourself. <laughs> so I wanted to share this. Okay, the next product is new to me, always late to the game, but I recently purchased for myself during the Sephora sale, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which I'd never tried before. And this mist that is the same fragrance. It accompanies this. You can get them in a set or you can buy them separately. And I really love them both, but I love this mist. And my daughters were home for Thanksgiving and they went crazy for the mist as well. Let me tell you the notes in this. So the top note is pistachio and almond. The mid notes are heliotrope and jasmine petals, and the dry or base notes are vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. And I love all those fragrances. This is a hair mist and a body mist. I use it mainly. I really just kind of spritz a little of it on my hand like this, and then it kind of just go like that, and it really lasts on my hair and on my clothes until I wash my hair and clothes. And um, it, you can wear this in place of your fragrance, and this is $20, so it's a really long-lasting, amazing scent and it's not that expensive so i did purchase one of these for my my middle daughter paulina and then for my older daughter who tends to like more coconut and vanilla scents i purchased her one exactly like this but it's in the light blue and it just has a slightly different scent to it it still has kind of like that food scent that really sweet kind of yummy food scent but um Anyway, check them out if you're interested or if you know somebody who would enjoy these as gifts. There's amazing gift sets on sale um, on and off during the holidays. I did not get this on Amazon, so I will link it separately. Okay, piling on the fragrances. I just ordered some home fragrance mists from Bath and Body Works, and I love so many of them. My favorites are the Vanilla Lavender, and then I just tried this one, which is Gingerbread Marshmallow, and it smells amazing. This is for my upstairs bathrooms. I have one in the upstairs bathrooms. And then in downstairs in the powder room, I have like a balsam fragrance that is absolutely lovely. I don't want the downstairs. I like the upstairs to smell like consistent. So I don't want us all spraying different fragrances. Um, and then downstairs, I really like the balsam because the Christmas tree is up and it just sort of goes with the whole theme. But I really think it's important to have fragrances, especially in your bathrooms and kitchen during the holiday time because you have guests and you don't want anybody to feel embarrassed if they have to use your bathroom. And sometimes I'm cooking foods that are a little bit stinky, like salmon or fish or things like that, because I really like to eat those kinds of foods. So um, I really like to have a room spray in the kitchen as well. And these do a great job of knocking out any weird odors in the house. So um, yeah, Bath and Body Works. There's some great sales going on during the holidays as well. Okay, let's move on to some clothing items. This sweater, I was watching Sophia Knightley 
I don't know if any of you watch her. She did an Amazon video recently and she linked some sweaters and I loved the sweater she was wearing in that video and I'll show it to you. I did post a picture of myself on Instagram wearing this. I'll include that picture, but this is the sweater and it's from an Amazon store. And Sophia went on and on about how well-made it is and how light it is. You know, sometimes when we're wearing sweaters like these, when we're home in the house where the heat is on and the fireplaces are on, and you might be cleaning and cooking and so on, you get uncomfortable, but these are really a light weave and they're really good quality too. So this is the orange one and it's so pretty. I never knew I could wear this color, but I get compliments every time I wear it. And you can wear these long, like with black leggings or jeans or whatever you wanna wear them with, or you can tuck in the front of them into your jeans the way that people are wearing their clothing now, just kind of like a little bit of the front tuck. Um, this one I did put on with a belt. It's the exact same sweater as that one. The orange I got in a small, and this one I got in a medium because I really like it to be oversized and slouchy. So let me show you. I have it on with jeans and then this belt. If I can find this belt, I'll link it. I don't even remember where I got it. One of two places, either Target or Amazon. And so this is how it looks. I'll take this belt off and just show you, you know, like if you tuck a little of it, you know, it's kind of cute like that too. A little bit longer in the back. So if you have leggings on and you want your behind to be covered, it's long enough for that. Gosh, I love this belt. I'll see if I can track it down. So, of course, you know, when I found out how much I loved the orange sweater, I did purchase it in this olive green shade. And then I was looking through the website and I did purchase several other sweaters. And I'll show those to you as well. So this one's a little bit different. And this one is a thicker sweater. It's warmer than this one, which is kind of a light weave. This one's a little bit thicker but it's got some kind of embroidery in it, as you can see. And the sleeves are balloon sleeves with cuffs here. The same kind of neck as the one I'm currently wearing. And, and as you can see, these are different colors. This one's much brighter and this one's a deeper orange. So I really like having both of them. And then same thing, I got the same sweater in the green as well, and it's the same color green, but I really like olive green in the fall and winter, and this is the same as the two that I shared with you. So those are my sweaters. I did get a long cardigan as well. I'll just show that to you in a different video because I wore it yesterday and it's in the wash. So um, I do like to just wash these on the hand wash or delicate cycle, and then I just lie them flat flat to dry and they seem to be just fine and no issues whatsoever. Okay, the next thing is something that I've shared with you before on my video a couple of years ago and it's a pair of booties that I got on Amazon and they look like this. They are exact dupes for Ugg boots that look like this. I can't think of what they're called but these are from the brand Dunes and they have this kind of built-in wedge heel and a zipper up the side. These are two years old. They're lined fully with this nice fur on the inside, faux, whatever, and um, really warm and cozy boots. And I love them so much and have worn them so many times that this year I got the same pair in black. I will link these because on the website they have these same boots but in a different style where they have like a little bit of like fur going down the outside and around the the top. Um, they're super duper comfortable. I have no complaints. They have good arch support, which I need. And they're, like I said, very warm and cozy. So I wanted to get the black pair to wear when I wear black leggings because it looks better than when I, when I wear the brown ones. So anyway, they come in lots of different colors. So I will link, they will be in the Amazon link that I provide. Okay, the next thing I wanted to share with you because they are my favorite masks and we're all still masking. You can get these on Amazon. They look like this. They are advertised as silk, but I think they're really, it says that they're polyester, but they definitely feel and look like silk and they really hold up. 
I hand wash them and then I just hang them on like a little hook and let them dry and they dry beautifully. And they have like a little pocket on the inside. So if you'd like to put a liner in it of some type, you can do that. And they fit really nicely. And I get compliments. People ask, people ask all the time where I got them from. They come in many different colors, which I'll show you. So that's how they look. Last year I purchased a pack of these. And this year I purchased a second pack. They're not expensive. So I have a black one. I have a white one. I would only use this. I used my white one from last year when I went to a wedding over the summer and I had a dress that had some white in it. It wasn't a white dress, mind you, but I did wear that for the wedding. Pink. My personal favorite is the silver or, or grayish silver khaki, which matches so well with what I have on the beige one that I, show, I shared with you. So these are my favorite. They would make great gifts. We're all wearing masks, so why not? Okay, and the next thing I want to share with you is a headband that I love that I found at Target, and I'll link it below. And it looks like this. It's like a wrapped headband. And it's got these teeth in it, which kind of remind me of those headbands that we used to wear in the 80s and 90s that would like be a round circle and then they would just like kind of go all around your head. They would stretch out. I can't find those anywhere, but I found this and I really like this headband for many reasons. I think it's really cute in my hair, but it's also super flexible and stretchy and I have a big head, especially back here. I feel like my head is kind of large and headbands often dig into my mastoid bones here and they get to be so uncomfortable. I end up pulling them off before the day is done, but this one I can wear all day long. I love it so much that I went onto the Target site and ordered three more because this is like the only headband that I can wear. I mean, you never see me wear headbands and now all of a sudden I'm wearing headbands. So I, w I really was very excited to find this headband. start wrapping this up, but my monthly favorites are always giveaways. And last month, I forgot to announce the winner. And I just realized I forgot when I was announcing the winner for my secret giveaway. Now I will say that's never happened before, but in my defense, Almost every other video that I've done over the past month has been a giveaway. So I had multiple giveaways running at the same time and it honestly got lost in the shuffle. So I'm going to announce the winner of last month's monthly giveaway and I'm going to combine that with my winner for this month. So I normally wouldn't do that because I like to have a lot of giveaways to give everyone a chance to win, but I have been doing so many giveaways that, you know, I'm accomplishing my task. So this month, well, last month, it was my Eco Tools brushes that I shared in my monthly giveaway, and I've got them right here. And if you watched that video, I tell you all about these brushes, which are so unique and cool. So that is what I forgot to announce. But this month I did order an ornament, I'll put a picture of it, that has the Almond La Occitane products in it that I was telling you about, that has the oil in it, the shower oil, that I received as a gift that allowed me to try the oil. So I ordered one from Nordstrom and it hasn't arrived yet. I tried to order it from the La Occitane website and it was sold out, so I ordered it from Nordstrom and it hasn't arrived here yet. So that will be included with this. And if you check the first pinned comment, you will see the winner of this and that ornament. And it will also be in the description box. And if you are the winner, I have the information, the email of how you can contact me and send me the address of where you would like me to send your gifts. So thank you for everyone who watches my videos. There are more giveaways coming up. I just wanted to get last month's and this month's done 
in one full swoop. So that way all my giveaway gifts will be sent out and then I can start fresh again. And that way I'm less likely to get them lost in the shuffle. I figured out that I need to not have them running at the same time, you know, announce one winner, send the gift and then start over again because, you know, I always use the I'm a mama four <laughs> excuse, <laughs> even though my kids are not little anymore. I'm the mama four. So, you know, how, how can I keep everything straight? Anyway, thank you for spending some time with me. I hope that you had a blessed Thanksgiving holiday, and I hope that you're having a wonderful time getting ready for the upcoming holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope that you're having a wonderful time getting in the spirit, and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you soon.